Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Maho Kenshi. This is a, a turn-based strategy tactical game being developed by Game Source Studio coming out first quarter uh, of next year. But we have a uh, we have a demo over on the Steam page. And we're going to check it out. So uh, we will choose a, a samurai of some style, whether we have uh, uh, fire magic or, or, or ninja style or, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and go through this sort of hex grid, moving our way through there. There's a deck building part of the game, a big deck building part of the game. Uh, trying to, I guess, trying to save the land. Battle challenging demons. Adventure through the celestial islands and protect your home from the forces of corruption. You know, that kind of stuff. I think we had a story here. In yeah. the most remote islands of the celestial realm, rumors of rebels and uprisings are common. But more recent rumors speak of dark forces and villages being destroyed. You have been sent to investigate. Okay. At, in the demo, we only have the House of Ruby, which are the, uh, the blessed by the spirit of the Tengu. Uh, I'm excited about the Kaito, because I want to be a samurai, we can be the Soda, which are the ninjas, and we have the Topaz, which, uh, have ears. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go back to the, with the House of Ruby. Uh, so yeah, there we go, let's go sent to investigate, that's our job. So we can do that, right click moves us around, sorry I moved that a little too fast. But, uh, here's our islands, we are, we are her, uh, and we're going to make our way through this by using our turn energy points here, we can do something like that, and we walk uh, along the path. Uh, each time we move, we get, uh, we're consuming our energy, and we'll see that in a minute. Take two to go through the forests. Once we're done, we end the turn. A little tutorial thing here, but it'll explain what's going on here. Uh, there's an event a couple tiles away. Let's go take a look at that. Finally, help has arrived. Bless the commies. The islanders have been warned of your presence in the celestial islands. Unfortunately, not everyone shares the views of the Mahash Mahokenshis, and the such malice, theft, and ambushes have been steadily increasing in the region. Beware and tread carefully. Nothing stands in my way. I'm aware of your great powers, but please be aware the terrain can be quite harsh. We've gained some cards. So I have a couple of safe travel cards that I can use. Kind of just like along the way here, it's showing me I can... So I can walk on this mountain and use three of my energy. Or I can use a safe travel card and go there in one. There we go. I guess they gave me a donkey or something. So that's how that works. And we'll go ahead, head over this way. We got another, another thing, this another tutorial thing there. So we'll go see what that's all about. Something is happening at the bridge. As you engage, uh, as you engage on the bridge, you sense a presence. A lone man foolishly seems to believe he can face a Mao Kenshi. He seems enraged. Trying to reason with him would be useless. Only the clashing of swords will calm him down. A perfect warm-up for you. So I can charge him aggressively with my one remaining point, or I can draw my sword and wait for his attack. No, no, we're getting in there. Let's get him. You swiftly charge him and take the advantage. The man does not have time to react, and it is left wide open for an attack. So, um. I, I get four strike cards, and I gain four strength for this turn, which is a turn that I will not be able to use because of that. So, because uh, I'm out of action points. So, we're just going to be basically just going to sit on this turn. Maybe I should have waited before that. But, uh... Alright, he's, he's looking the other way. Excellent, we're going to use our basic attack here and smack him. Like that. So we hit him. He's got 15 points. I have 100 hit points. I don't know what he's thinking. Uh, let's go smack him again one more time. I got another thing here. I guess I could back away if I wanted to. Uh, just to save the hit points. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I don't think... Is he going to come after me? Oh, he's, he's, oh, yeah, here he comes. Ouch. He hit me for six. He hits harder than I do. But I'm a Maho Kenshi. Here we go. Oh, he's still alive. One more. There we go. Now, now we got him. A wounded, the man collapses to his knees, panting heavily. Please, Maho Kenshi, stop. I beg you, let me live. I can give you information in exchange for your mercy. I have eyes everywhere. Pleading for his life, a man informs you that the population of a local village recently disappeared during an attack. To his knowledge, the attack was not carried out by brigands on the islands. Perhaps you can confirm whether he's telling the truth by inquiring in the nearest village. Okay, let's go inquire. Did we kill the guy? I hope we, I hope we stabbed him down. He, he deserved it. There is a chest over there for some gold. There is a, uh, what's that, a healing potion and a card reward. Also, we have somebody staying there. So let's go use, let's use the, the safe travel. Hop over this. And we'll approach this guy. Um, he apparently wants to fight. He does not see me, maybe? We're going to get in the back. In the back! <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, next turn. He's going to swing at me a little bit. He is an insurgent. He has a weakening strike with his thing. What's he do to me? 
As effects can be applied on a character. I'll have your mouse over it to see I have damage dealt minus one. All right. It's the last time anyone does that to me. Get him again. There we go. I guess a big part of this is uh, do we... Well, you know what? Let's... Do we want to run away? And then come back? Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's try it. What's it do for us? Oh, so yeah. Look for the villages. He needs to come over here at me. Doesn't seem there's any sort of... Uh, defense bonus for being on that mountain? Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Plus three. Okay, okay. Maybe I should have done this before. Let's smack him while he's in the fields now. There we go. Yeah, that's what that... I was wondering what those little symbols were. It was the mountain defense thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's safe travel over this and grab some healing potion. Uh, well, I guess I won't. It takes two to get there. Uh, we'll go that. Okay, got myself some, he some, some healing. We'll go pick up a chest. Uh, and then we're going to make our way to the village over there. Okay, killing enemies gives me gold. Um, let's go grab... I mean, we'll go get the card first, I guess. We'll come back that way. No sense wasting time. I will take uh, Strength of the Tengu. Gain four strength when flying. Oh, oh, reverse When flying, get six strength instead. Uh, okay. There's a deal eight damage, inflict two weakness, or a Mountain Colossus. Draw two cards on mountains, gain one energy. I'll take the just tactical strike. That's, the flying one sounds great. But I don't know how to fly. So, when I learn how to fly, I will do that. Let's go grab a chest over here and see what's in this thing. Alright, right, just gold. Okay. Uh, here's the village we're approaching. There's a couple of folks there that want to stab me. Three folks that want to stab me. Well, let's see if we can have a chat with them. Make a nice sort of travel there, hop onto that. Uh, you see a group of people near the village. As you approach, one of them comes to meet you. Blessed be the Kami for sending a Mahu Kenshi to us in these trying times. Please, you must help. He seems anxious and distraught. He explains that the population of an entire village seems to have vanished. We heard screams from the coming village, or uh, coming from the village in the northern forest a few nights ago. Please find out what happened. Prevent it from happening again. If not, there's no one there, not going to happen again. We know it's not much, but we hope that this gift will help you in your quest. Um. Honor is the only reward I see. No, no, I, I'll take gifts. You know, I'm not a, I'm not opposed. I gain plus one base strength. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good strength. Good, good. Uh, bonus, uh gift. Let's hop in the village here, and check some. Uh, let me you know, interact with them with you there. Yeah, yeah. Hover your mouse, mouse and see what it does. I can buy new cars in the marketplace. What have you got here? So I have 190 bucks. Ooh, a chain strike. The nine damage. Add one chain strike to the top of your draw pile. This one is removed from the deck after being played. Okay. This is like a quick uh, advance and, and draw a card. Lose three health, gain six strength. I'm going to take this opening strike one. That seems like a thing they have. And this one is free. So it's just a one time use, as I was trying to tell me. Ephemeral. Yeah, remove from your deck after being played. Add one chain strike. Uh, to your top of your draw pile. Mm, let's try it. Okay. Uh, let's go and let's go visit with these guys. Well, that guy first. Well, you know, let's go get these two. Um, I'd like to bring them into the plains, though. So maybe if I step up here and I can, like, attract them, can I maybe get a swing? Take that. So they know what I'm, they know I mean business now. Uh, and it only takes one together. So let's, let's you know, give him another, what, fur? That's his defense that I never received there. Let me go bounce back here. So I'm hoping that this will lure them into me. Does it lure you? Yes, it does. Okay, so he's going to whack me around a little bit. He is stuck, correct? Oh, they can stand in the... Oh, no. Okay, I see. I thought he might be stuck there. But okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do this cool thing. Seven damage. I was hoping for a different an animation. That would have been cool. So since it goes to the top of the deck, um, we'll see what happens there. And then he's only got five left, so let's just give him a a basic strike there. there go. Um, I'm gonna use this on you because you're gonna give you weakness. There you go. And then I'll finish it off by by killing you. I've got strength. I can hit him next turn. Uh, I'm out of cards though. Yeah, okay, so it is still in there. Okay. Okay, so next turn I'll be there again. Am I reading this right? 
Yeah, okay, okay. That's 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 a fantastic card. That's, that's the best card in the game. It didn't even use an action to do it. I must be missing something. That's fantastic. All right, let's go get more cards. Next turn. All right. Um, wind slash deal eleven damage. When flying, deal one. So this is a discard. You need to discard other cards. How many do I discard? Two discards to play this one card for 11 damage. Could be great if I had some scrap ones to get rid of. Like some safe travel ones. Lose five health, advance two tiles, deal nine damage, gain three strength. That's cool. Uh, and I'll go with the cool stuff. You know, no sense in, in uh, playing with the baby cards. Let's go to here and then let's safe travel into these hills. Hopefully I can draw his attention when I'm here. Am I, am I, I have you? Oh, I see your range. The hills will give me a good what, a good attack. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's try it. See what happens. Um, take five damage, advance a tile, deal seven damage twice. I want that. Okay. Uh, let's let's um. Oh, here we go. This is nine damage. I got fourteen, so it's not really gonna help me any. Okay, we'll do that one. Like that. And then we can do seven. Yeah, we can kill him this turn. Okay, the hills are great. All right, let's let's walk into these trees. I'm going to advance on this guy. I'm not going to go all the way up to him, though, because I don't want it to attract him. His range is where? Is, ooh, got a little choppy, little choppy there. Um, let's go right there. Yeah, very, very choppy all of a sudden. Yeah, like that. Okay. Hopefully it looks alright on the stream or on the uh, on the video. Uh, okay. Uh, well, let's. I guess we're gonna walk up on this guy. Greetings, warrior. You must be just who I was looking for. I assume you were here to about the missing villagers. Perhaps you could spare some time to listen to an old man's request. He nods and explains that even before the recent events, a band of insurgents have been bringing turmoil to the region, robbing any traveler foolish enough to walk the roads alone. Our hands have been full, trying to prepare a village in case of an attack. Even though we can't afford to ignore the threat those bandits propose, I don't have a single man I can spare to hunt them down. Captain of the Guard of the nearest village, he officially requests that you deal with the bandit leader. Um, I mean, this is what I mean. I'm here to investigate. Um, worry not. I will do it, old man. Okay, their leader is in the east. Which way is east? That way is east. Okay. Got it. Got it. Alright, seems like it's playing okay on my screen. It seems like OBS is having some trouble. So some sort of memory loss or something going on here. This is a demo after all. Uh, Alright, so let's go with... Uh, let's beat this guy down, I suppose. He is on the hills, which means he's going to hit me hard. So I can hit him and then back away and get him off those hills. That might be the best way of doing this. I don't have... Uh, I can hit him twice and then back away. Let's get him for, for eight. There we go, and then I don't have another seven. Oh, yeah, there we go. Never mind. I'll just kill the guy. How about that? Okay. Um, I'll go get... I'll step on nothing. So there's a leader over there to the, to the right. Or I can go to the village. Um, it circles around. We'll go this way. I'll pick up some gold while we're here. Do a little shopping. Uh, we'll stop by and pick up some cards. I don't need to pick up all the cards, I don't think. I'd like to see where I can improve cards. Uh, deal, uh, invul deal vulnerability. If I'm on the mountains, I get more damage. There's opening strike, and there's take five. I'll just take another one of those opening strike ones. And then we're going to wait before we move on to that, because he's going to hit us. No bonus on the bridge, right? Nope. So we'll step right there, and whack this guy. I would like to fly. I draw a card when I fly. I don't know how to do it, but I'd like to do that. What is this? What's that one? Abandoned village. Is that the abandoned village? I don't know. Um, let's let's give him the old weakness, just in case we don't kill him this turn. We'll get him this turn. Okay. And his blood is just flowing away. I'll take some cash on my way to the village. We'll have a chat with these guys and see what they what they have for us. What do you got? Anything good? Moonslasher, that, that, maybe not so much. 
Discard your hand, deal four damage per card discarded. Hmm. Range of two. Range two, two and a ability. Um, that's cool, but it's like my whole hand. Four damage per card. I mean, I only really have like what four or five cards in my hand. That could be a lot of damage. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll try it. I'm gonna walk up here. I'm not going to step there. Oh wait, wait, wait. Do I have it? I do. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, okay. This game makes you feel like you're somebody. Okay, sorry if it's a little choppy. Um, it was recording fine at the beginning, but it seems to have. It still seems I'm up. I'm up around 40, 50 frames per second. So it's it's still a little there. Just might be all, might be a little rough. Let's step over here. There's the village. Okay. Let's go take a little look at that. We'll walk into the woods nice and easy. And then we'll make our walk into the woods. What do we have here? Let's search it. You uh, you search the abandoned village, but bears no fruits. But as you're leaving, you glimpse a small childlike silhouette disappearing into the woods, trusting your instincts. You silently follow it. Discover a nightmarish scene. Human bodies are scattered all over the forest floor with three small creatures, the likes of which you've never seen, busy feasting on the corpses. A little further, you spot a few villagers in a makeshift cage, leaving you no doubt you have found the missing villagers. If I act quickly, you may be able to ambush the captors and deliver the villagers from the terrible fate that awaits them, but I didn't come in here with any action points because I didn't know I was going to have to. I'm going to rush in while I still have a melon of surprise, but I could have had a little prayer before then. Witnessing the horror and deciding to take no chances with the lives of the remaining, remaining villagers, I charge towards them. No bonus for this fight. There they are. Alright, so Guy in Woods has defense. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything this turn. I, 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 didn't, I didn't plan for needing, needing that. Ouch! Seven damage. Alright. You little jerks. Probably better for me to stand on these. If I had a move, I'd probably go and stand on, on these things. 20 hit points. What's strength do for me? Increases damage dealt. So we're going to hit somebody hard. Let's let's save him for the last. Let's just work our way around here. If I can kill him, I'll step on his square. It takes two actions to step on this. So I don't know if that's a good idea. There's one. Um, I can kill this guy this turn. Actually, I can kill him this turn anyway. And we'll get him again. And then we'll put... Barking at me. I was going to step there, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some weakness on... You. There you go. So then he won't hurt me so bad. What's he got now? He's got some defense. That goblin defense, eh? Healing potion there. I'm glad I didn't pick that up beforehand. Um, so we got uh, a couple basic ones. We have this thing. Can I hit this guy right now? I could kill him. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right? Oh, it's 16 damage. Not. Oh, we had all that defense, too. Well, that didn't work out. Uh, I'm going to come step over here. Oh, you know what? I want to step on that that mountain. That's what we're going to do. Because I going to be 3 attack and 3 damage. That's the place to be. I'll be in the woods, give him some, some defense. No biggie. And he might not be able to get to me. No, nope, he's got one. Apparently my defense doesn't come in until... I don't know why I didn't come in then. You have to be there for a turn. Uh, all right. Well, uh, this is the really cool one, so I'm going to hit this guy. There we go. We should be able to get them all killed here. That guy done. And that guy's got some some defense, but no problem. I could have hit him with the strength thing first. All right. Victory. Excellent. Okay, next next mission. That was that one. Um, villagers are threatened by a large group of cult followers. Help them. Can I go here? Our forces are preparing an invasion. You seem to put an end to their schemes. Yeah, yeah, let's go there. How have these vile creatures reached the Celestial Islands? Pits tainted by corruption serve them as gateway. They must be sealed if the Celestial Realm is to be saved. And only you have the power to do so. Okay, I, yeah, I'll, I'll be here again. 
Okay. Dark Force is helping. Yeah. Let's go do it. Close the pit, it says. Where is the pit at? Ooh, ooh choppy, choppy. Oh, we're back there somewhere. All right, I'll try not to move the screen too much. Uh, let's go, uh, let's go walk over here. I have zero cards, don't I? It takes three to get on that, so we'll end our turn. I will not end my turn, apparently. End my turn, end my turn. I will not end my turn, apparently. Can I end my turn, please? Hmm. Well, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll call it a day right here. Because I can't. I can't end my turn. All right. Well, there we go. A perfect place to call it a day. Uh, let's see what the other one was all about before we go there. I guess I can jump. I can jump ahead. This is like a little side mission, maybe. Yeah, be her. Let me begin with. Oh, things all around us this time. I, I don't have. Yeah, I'm. I'm back to square one as well. So get rid of twenty enemies and take more than thirty-five turns is is defeat. And there's just lots of things. Just This is just, just killing time. Alright. Uh, I'll go over here and take a card. Give me something good. Uh, flying. Nah, but this one, Reckless Strike. I take four damage, but I do a lot of damage. I can whack you. I'll get you out of the way. That one, I'll get you for five. There we go. Uh, I'm going to step here to get you to come on out. There we go. Well, let's see what we can do. We're, uh, this is a quick video. Putting that weakness on me, eh? Uh, these these walking things are no no help here. I need some good cards. I guess that's 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 the, the, the challenge. Is you got to go get cards before you can do much of anything here. Uh, I'm gonna walk into the woods. And I'm going to leave it right there because I don't want you coming to the woods because then you get a defensive bonus. I don't have any good cards to kill. It'll really kill you. So I defended three of it, so that's no problem. Now we can get him. I don't need to do damage to myself here. I can remove cards from my deck or cleanse poison by going to the shrine. Uh, let's make my way over this way. I guess I got to go... Let's go... Hmm... I'm going to take out first. Let's go over here. It seems peaceful. Next turn. Now, I could go... Uh, you know what? I could run in here and go stand in that forest. Give me a little bit of a defense. Let's do it. Quick walk into that forest there. So now... And then now I'll have a defense. He does too, but... At least we're on even, even ground here. Can I give me some good cards? Oh, yeah. Oh, I should step on that card first. So I can get him for eight. Uh, I can kill him this turn. I can take a chance. Here, let's do this. Let's take a chance. Give me something good. Uh, I get energy on the mountains. Lose five health and... Oh, and I fly. <gasps> That's what I was looking for before. I want to fly. I don't know what it's going to do, but I want to do it. Oh, I have it right now. Uh, Do it. I have wings. Ooh, I'm like, ooh, fancy. Okay, okay. Um, I will now kill you. Take that. How long do these wings last? Just one turn? Ah, okay. I figured so. I should have run over here and picked this stuff up while I had the wings. All right, well, let's get over this way. And let's go, uh, I'm trying to make my way over here and get that card. I don't need the potion just yet. I'm still, I'm not that hurt. It healed me like 40 before, so I don't really need that. I have to fight this guy again. There's the wings again, but I don't need it right now. But we can go over here. Um, it'll put us in combat. Maybe we go here so we get the first hit. So we can throw in there with wings. Let's just step up here and swing. No need to be cowardly. If I were to wing, could I wing out, out here? Like, I, could I step over the edge and then he can't hit me? Let's try it. For science. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, well, I will back up. Ooh. 
That's quite a jump. Alright, so now we're a little weakened. But, uh, well, we have wings, so we're excited. Now let's go ahead and kill him. Okay, uh, up here. Give me something good in this deck here. Um, oh, there we go. When flying, I get six strength instead, which I'm, I don't know what it does. I'm assuming strength is going to be like an extra point per strength. Five defense, draw a card, take five damage, advance a tile. I'll take the parry, I suppose. Uh, and we can see all my cards here. Some cards over across this bridge. Let's go, yeah, let's go over there. These guys have axes, but I'm not scared of them. I have 35 turns to do this, so I don't know if I'm going to make it. Um, this, might, this, this is probably a good place to call it today. We've, we've seen the game. So, anyway, thanks again for watching. This is Maho Kenshi. It is coming out sometime early next year. Uh, I'll put links down below, uh, and you can check it out. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.